Convergence. The fusion of humanity and artificial intelligence. What is the true cost of a thought born from silicon? This haunting question echoes through the corridors of power and innovation. As we delve into the heart of the AI revolution over the past decade, the resurgence of neural networks, now known as deep learning, marks a pivotal moment in this saga. Google, with its strategic acquisition of DeepMind, positioned itself at the forefront of this transformative wave. The company's audacious move not only signaled a massive investment in the future of intelligence, but also ignited a global race for AI supremacy. Chapter 1. The Awakening Code At the center of this whirlwind of innovation are figures like Demis Hassabis and Jeffrey Hinton, whose groundbreaking work has dramatically shifted the AI paradigm. Hassabis, a former child chess prodigy turned neuroscientist and AI researcher, co-founded DeepMind with the vision of creating machines that can learn for themselves. His ambition was not merely to build a smarter AI, but to unravel the mysteries of human intelligence. Hinton, often referred to as the godfather of deep learning, has been instrumental in resurrecting the once dismissed field of neural networks. His persistent belief in the potential of deep learning has paved the way for some of the most significant breakthroughs in AI. The technical innovations that have emerged from these minds are nothing short of revolutionary. Generative adversarial networks, a concept introduced by Ian Goodfellow, another luminary in the field have enabled machines to create images, music, and text that are indistinguishable from human-generated content. This technology, which pits two neural networks against each other, one generating data and the other evaluating it, has vast implications, from art and design to the way we interact with digital worlds. Reinforcement learning, another critical development, has allowed machines to learn from their interactions with the environment improving over time without human intervention. This technology was dramatically showcased when DeepMind's AlphaGo defeated the world champion Go player, a feat that was previously thought to be decades away. The victory was not just a triumph of technology, but a stark demonstration of the potential within these algorithms to tackle complex real-world problems. However, the race for AI supremacy is not just a chronicle of technological triumphs. It is a story fraught with fierce competition and immense investments from the world's tech giants. Companies like Facebook, Amazon, and Microsoft, each vie for a piece of the AI pie, pouring billions into research and acquisitions. This relentless pursuit of innovation is not just about owning the technology of the future. It's a quest for the very essence of power and influence in the digital age. Yet, as we marvel at the advancements and the sheer speed of progress, the underlying question remains, what is the true cost of this silicon-born intelligence? The drama of this story lies not just in the achievements and the competition, but in the profound implications these technologies have for society and the future of human cognition. The journey of DeepMind Google and the pioneers of AI is a testament to human ingenuity and ambition but it also serves as a reminder of the immense responsibility that comes with wielding such transformative power. The true cost of a thought born from silicon is a question that will shape the destiny of humanity, and the answer lies in the hands of those who dare to dream and innovate. Chapter two, the quantum leap in AI, bridging minds and machines. As the world marvels at the rapid advancements in AI, a groundbreaking innovation emerges creating a seismic shift in the landscape of artificial intelligence. The advent of quantum machine learning. This new chapter in the AI saga takes us beyond the realms of traditional computing into an era where the fusion of quantum computing and machine learning reshapes the very foundation of AI capabilities. The quantum leap begins with a revolution in computational power. Quantum computers, harnessing the principles of quantum mechanics, operate at speeds and efficiencies unfathomable to classical computers. In this new paradigm, QML algorithms exploit these quantum properties to process information in ways previously thought impossible. This quantum advantage enables machines to analyze and learn from data at an unprecedented scale, tackling problems too complex for classical algorithms. 
The first dramatic demonstration of QML's potential comes from a collaborative effort between leading tech giants and quantum computing startups. They unveil an AI system that successfully deciphers complex biological data, leading to breakthroughs in personalized medicine. This system, leveraging quantum-enhanced machine learning, predicts how different individuals will respond to various treatments, revolutionizing healthcare with new therapies. Simultaneously, QML begins to transform other sectors. In finance, quantum-enhanced AI algorithms optimize portfolios by analyzing global market data in real time, predicting trends with astonishing accuracy. In environmental science, these systems model climate change scenarios with a level of detail and precision far beyond current capabilities, providing new insights into combating global warming. The most profound impact of QML is its ability to bridge the gap between human and artificial intelligence. Researchers develop a quantum neural network that mimics the human brain's structure and functionality, leading to AI systems that not only learn, but also think and reason in ways akin to humans. These quantum neural networks, with their ability to handle ambiguity and complexity, begin to collaborate with human minds, leading to an unprecedented symbiosis of human and artificial intellect. This symbiosis is dramatically illustrated in a project where a quantum-enhanced AI collaborates with human scientists to solve a century-old scientific mystery, showcasing the potential for these hybrid teams to push the frontiers of knowledge. Chapter 3 Neural Frontiers. On the cutting edge of science and speculation, visionaries like Elon Musk and Brian Johnson lead a charge into uncharted territory, where the boundaries between human minds and machines blur. Their companies, Neuralink and Kernel, stand at the forefront of the brain computer interface, BCI, revolution, a field that is as much about exploring the unknown capacities of the human brain as it is about the relentless advance of technology. The technical challenges these companies face are monumental. Creating devices that can effectively read and write to the human brain involves navigating a labyrinth of biological, ethical, and engineering hurdles. The brain is the most complex structure known to humanity, a dense network of approximately 86 billion neurons, each with thousands of connections. To interface with this intricate web, BCI technologies use arrays of microelectrodes to detect and interpret the brain's electrical signals. The precision required is staggering, akin to eavesdropping on a bustling crowd and discerning a single whisper. Neuralink's dramatic public demonstrations, showcasing pigs and monkeys with implanted devices controlling computer interfaces, have brought the potential of this technology into sharp focus. These moments are not just technical demos. They are theatrical displays meant to capture the imagination of the world and to showcase the potential for a future where thoughts could control machines. Kernel, while more understated, has made significant strides in creating non-invasive brain recording technology. The development of thought-to-text interfaces represents a particularly striking leap forward. The ability to convert neural activity directly into digital text could revolutionize communication especially for those who are unable to speak or move. But beyond the practical applications, these advancements prompt us to reconsider the nature of thought itself. If our innermost reflections can be translated into text, where does the boundary between mind and machine truly lie? As we inch closer to a world where our innermost thoughts might interface directly with machines, questions of privacy and autonomy surface with renewed urgency. The thought of a third party being able to access, and perhaps even influence, our thoughts is a scenario fraught with dystopian undertones. This tension between the promise of unprecedented human enhancement and the peril of unparalleled invasion of privacy is a central drama of the BCI narrative. The journey into the neural frontiers is not merely a technical endeavor, but a deeply human quest. It's a story of ambition, imagination, and above all, the unyielding desire to expand the limits of what humans can achieve. As we stand on the precipice of this new era, the path forward is fraught with challenges and uncertainties. Yet the promise of merging mind and machine compels us onward towards a future that once existed only in the realms of science fiction. 
The quest to intertwine human intelligence with artificial counterparts is not just a tale of technological conquest. It's a testament to the human spirit, a story of pushing beyond the boundaries of our biological heritage. As we navigate this new and uncharted territory, the implications for our species are as profound as they are unpredictable. The future of this endeavor will shape the trajectory of humanity in ways we are only beginning to comprehend. Chapter 4. Convergence As we cast our gaze forward to the horizon of AI and human integration, a provocative question lingers in the air. Are we architecting our own obsolescence or our salvation? The concept of the singularity, a point where AI surpasses human intelligence, looms large over this narrative. Figures like Ray Kurzweil, a futurist and steadfast proponent of this inevitable future, predict its imminent arrival, suggesting a timeline that places this transformative event within our lifetimes. Kurzweil's predictions are grounded in the law of accelerating returns, which posits that technological progress, particularly in information technology, is exponential. This law suggests that AI's capabilities are increasing at such a rapid pace that it will soon surpass human intelligence, leading to a future where our biological limitations are transcended by digital evolution. The singularity represents not just a point in time, but a profound shift in the nature of existence, where the boundaries between human and machine, biology and technology, become irrevocably blurred. As we contemplate this future, speculative technologies like digital immortality come into focus, the concept of uploading human consciousness into silicon, effectively achieving a form of eternal life, is one of the most mind-bending and controversial aspects of this future. Researchers are already laying the groundwork for this possibility through the mapping of brain connections and the development of more sophisticated neural networks. The prospect of living forever in digital form raises profound questions about the nature of consciousness, identity, and what it means to be human. It's a drama filled with tension between the promise of a transcendent future and the peril of losing our humanity to machines of our own creation. As advanced AI entities emerge, the potential for conflict or cooperation with humanity becomes a central concern. Will these entities be benevolent partners in our continued evolution? Or will they view us as relics of a bygone era? We stand at the precipice of a new era in human history, one where our creations may surpass us and lead us into uncharted territory, a place where our highest aspirations collide with our deepest fears. As we contemplate the dawn of a new era in intelligence, both human and artificial, the question remains, will this convergence be our greatest achievement or our ultimate undoing? The answer to this question will define not only the future of our species, but the nature of intelligence itself.